I first became excited about the African World Cup three years ago today in this room when we hosted a summit for World AIDS Day. It was then that I was introduced to a collaborative effort to help green the World Cup. And I wanted to make sure that the people of Africa could share in this global celebration of the game of soccer and saw it as an opportunity to inspire awareness and action around environmental issues by showing the games for free in impoverished areas of the world, uh, of Africa. That became a reality thanks to a grant from UNICEF, and I went to Kampala, Uganda. And what I wanted to share about with you today is what happened there, where we made plastic, soccer balls, and it would simultaneously address the problem of pollution and also change people's behavior. Kampala is a 1.5 million person city. It's the capital of Uganda, and 75% of the people there live in the slums with no municipal services. Like most other places, or a lot of other places in the world, there's plastic everywhere. It's in the streams, and it's even where the children go to get water. Now, the, the screen proved to be a really effective tool to gather people together. And we'd get crowds of hundreds, and sometimes even thousands of people, or over a thousand people, to watch the games. And I knew that together, we could work on this problem. I went to a local watering hole. This is a drink they have there called Malwa. It's a uh, fermented millet, and it's this big bucket, and you eat out of these, uh, these long brown uh, wooden straws. And it doesn't taste very good, but it's pretty strong, and it's a great way to connect to the community. <laughs> this is where I met Isaac, in the shirt on the left there in the black. And he confided in me that he's lost his job, he sits around and drinks all day, and he's afraid that very soon he's going to become homeless. And he asked if I could help him. And I said, if you can make me balls from plastic so uh, soccer balls out of plastic bags, I'll purchase them from you. And he looked at me with a smile and said, like, I can make you a good ball. And he was right. He could make a great ball. It wasn't like the other balls that I saw kids playing around with that were just plastic tied up. This was a well-designed ball, and it was a model that could be followed, and this became the prototype and the Buvera Ball Project was born. Buvera is the Lugandan word for plastic. So we announced this, that we would pay people 1,000 shillings, which is about 40 cents, if they could make these balls. And it spread virally through the community, and it even got on the national news. But our operation has gotten bigger, and we had to find new ways to source plastic. We started working with business owners to save their plastic for the course of the week, and we would drive around and fill an entire truck up with plastic. And we were able to upcycle this plastic into something that had value, these soccer balls. And not only that, we created a local economy based on something that previously didn't have value, and even more importantly, changed the way people thought about plastic there. <laughs> we would sit them down and teach them how to make the ball to Isaac's specifications, and combine that day with activities of playing soccer and also teaching them about environmental stewardship. During the World Cup, we made about a thousand of these balls. Each one has about 15 bags inside of it. So therefore, we kept 15,000 plastic bags from going into the local ecosystem just by changing the way that they thought about plastic. We also got to give them out. That was really the fun part. Seeing these kids' faces, we would find children that were playing with empty bottled water, and were able to give them a ball that they too could participate in the spirit of the World Cup. And the project is still going on today. Only now, we're not handing them cash. We've set up a fund where they can earn money towards their school fees. And this is an open source, low tech, simple project. And the materials are abundant throughout the world. 
and so is the love of soccer. And if this one ball could be a model to make a thousand balls, what if this one project could be a model to make a thousand projects? Then we could merge the most popular sport in the world to help solve one of the most challenging problems in the world around plastic. And I'm going to let some of my good friends from Uganda tell you a little bit about it in their own words. This is the plastic project, Papa Shante Bushman, Caribbean. One cup, two, three, three, and ten. <laughs> it's all about, about African life. So it's all you know, about the plastic, world. You can do everything. You can make out a football. You see the football out there? These plastics in Uganda, Chevron, it's all about project. making wastage a better thing into use. Recyclement. Kayanda san, we recycle things that have been in the dustbin, yow. Yaga yo, can we make the things, can we make the rubbish into something useful, yow, yow, yow. Big ups as Francisco. Big ups to Kampala as well, thank you.